Good day, my lovely people. Welcome here again to my channel, Eleanor's Chronicles. And of course, my name is Eleanor. My lovely people, next stop now is the Confessions Hub. Because See your puza, my lovely people. La pianang tati shuge la la pianang tata matrem be la pianang bolegi komish. Sis begala, si enziti, si asel. Okay, my lovely people. Confession hub. You know, um, my lovely people, there was a time in Pretoria where besi uh kubezwe yifu elim nyama. There was a time when women were viciously attacked by some mythical creature in a form of a human being uh, who was called the Hammer Man. This man, he will lure women, uh, sleep with them, and people would say that this man has got maggots on his private parts. And he will sleep with women and infect women with his maggots. And soon after that, these women will pass away. And how people will know exactly where these women got this infection of maggots in their privates is that the one thing that the call card that all these women came back with is that he will give them a lot of money and little did all these women know that this money that they are being given is the money to bury them okay so back to the confession hub so there on the confession hub now comes in this man and he's taking responsibility claiming responsibility for being that particular hammer man and he now explains that, you know, I'm the hammer man and people used to say I got uh, maggots on my privates, uh, of which I will say that is not true. Never, not even once did I see even one maggot on my privates. I never had any maggots on my privates. However, what happened is that I grew up where, where in some... Uh, rural areas I had a problem that I was a slow learner at school and my I was not liked by anyone in the community at school my family no one had patience for me simply because I was not progressive as other kids so people always used to say I will never amount to nothing so it happened that uh, he got this friend and this friend was working, was working on a peace job. Goopy goopy. His friend called him to say, uh, come to where I'm staying for whatever reason. Then while there, the friend got sick. Then the friend said, no, I am sick. Please go to a little bit while I go home to recuperate. Then he worked so hard at this job. Now he's on the Pretoria side. He moved from the rural areas, came to Pretoria, then ended up uh Abambela Lumganoa K M Sebenzini, then Mgani, that is when the Mgani gets sick and uh, goes back home to recuperate. Yena seven zara piana. He worked so hard. Then uh, the bosses were so impressed and hired him full time. Of which, within that period, the friend now passed on. When the friend passed on, that means now he had to take over the lease of that friend uh, at whatever flat that this flat this friend was staying at the rental lease that the friend had already was already under okay fine he 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 did that um which is where 
Now you won't understand, Uguti, was this spirit already in that flat or whatever, but because somehow he's making it sound like this spirit was attracted by him taking ownership of the flat now, as opposed to Logiana Iluguti Begala Lisiwi Begumva Gashipela. But now that he's the owner of the flat, now a spirit came and it visited him. This spirit was a spirit of a white man. And this white man seemed to say, uh, I can make you rich. Do you want to be rich? And because he wanted to be rich, and it's a dream. And you know, he's thinking, no, it's a dream. And he's like, yeah, I, I want to be rich. And this, uh, this white man says, you must wait for me. I, I will come get you. Then... Uh, he goes to, he wakes up, goes to work, comes back, sleeps again. This time, uh, the white man comes back in a black car, uh, fetches him, still, dream, takes him wherever. Whatever rituals gets done, now he, uh, he wakes up. When he wakes up, he wakes up to a letter that says, now you must go sleep with any woman uh of of your choice then uh you will be rich immediately after that then that was a simple task for him that was a simple task for him because he had uh a girlfriend he decided to sleep with his girlfriend then after that after sleeping with his girlfriend, immediately soon afterwards, the girlfriend informs him, you know, I've got a problem, man. I've got a problem in my private. I need to go to hospital. Something weird is happening. Then um, the, he thinks nothing of it. Then soon after that, he gets a call from the sister of the girlfriend saying things are very serious. The girlfriend has been rushed to hospital because uh, she's got maggots are seeping out of her privates soon after that call like the next day he is being informed that the girlfriend has passed on okay fine wow that was weird what happened what type of a sickness does that he thinks nothing he thinks nothing much of it however even though he actually then became a an instant millionaire right from then then um immediately after sleeping with the girlfriend because after sleeping with the girlfriend again he he slept then he dreamt again that uh he is now back there and he, he's being told you've got these millions now you must buy a fancy car and it was not him it was it was not only him even in that dream he saw himself and other people that he actually knew and None of them discussed which cars they're going to drive. But in his waking moment, he goes, he finds the money valet, the, those millions. He goes and he buys himself a black hammer. And all his friends also buy black hammers. But then none of them ever spoke. And all of them are in different provinces. So, hence, uh, everybody will will say uh the hammer has hit but then somebody will say no this attack happened in mamelodi that one will say this attack happened in centurion this one will say this attack happened in limpopo this one will say this hammer happened uh this attack happened in kwazulu natal because even they did not know Oguti, actually they all had ham the hammers but then yeah now he started uh, noting Uguti, he was the problem because every girl he will sleep with will soon die after that and all the girls that he will sleep with when when they pass on and when he tries to find out what killed them they will say that she had maggots coming out of her privates that is not just a story um the hammer story the hammer story actually I actually lost a friend to the Hammer Man. I had a friend, uh, Louis Luguti, uh, by Gathala, a mortal view in Mamelodi. 
Uh, she was very young. One day, uh, she met this guy and she was always saying he's got this fine guy. But then funny enough, this guy, Begabona, we like he's so rich. Uh, this guy said, then he disappeared. He disappeared for weeks because I remember for weeks I kept on going to her place and they said they are looking for her. They don't know where she is. They're looking for her. They don't know where she is. The next thing I went to her home and they said, no, we found her. But then uh, she's sick, so you can't see her. I remember the other time I went to her house and I knocked and I asked to see her and um, her mom refused. And I can actually hear her cry from the door. Like I can hear her deep in the house from one of the bedrooms crying. And my heart broke so much because I was and I remember my 16-year-old self standing on that door and my heart just broke. And I was so teary and everything. Why am I her friend if you're not going to allow me to be here with her? I mean, she's in there all back and everything. Okay, fine. She went wherever. She made a mistake because I did not know how serious it was. She made uh, whatever mistake that she meant, she made... And now you're saying she's sick and I can hear by how she's crying that she's in pain. Why can't I be with her so that she can be comforted that her friends are here? Because if she sees us, then she's going to be fine. She's going to be fine if she sees us. All she needs is a little bit of laughter. But her, her mom said no. Uh, that very same week, um, she passed on. Then I got to hear from people who would say, hey, you told me, you told me got eaten by the hammer man. You told me ended up getting the maggot cupcake. Huh. <sighs> yeah. Another time that I, I had about this very same uh, hammer man, it was around the same time as my friend. Same time as my friend. When someone was telling me that dear Chomi just passed on. And um, they distraught and, uh, you know, falling apart. Someone then tells us of a certain lady at, um, at TNT. Now you call it TUT. Back then it was called TNT in Soshanguve. Somebody then tells us that, yeah, there's this lady at TNT who was uh, dating <clears throat> this guy and he would pick her up with uh, a hammer and sometimes he came with a Ferrari and all sorts of convertibles. And this guy is like they just date, started dating and this guy was taking this lady Abu Marula San and wherever they dated for like a week and it's like they were the talk of TNT. Then one day less than just and it's everything happens so fast with this person. Like for the first week is like love bombs this ladies. Second week then takes this ladies uh, to wherever, then stays with them or wherever they, then when this lady came back, uh, this lady started getting the maggot cupcake, had to be sent home. And as soon as they reached her home with her, uh, she passed on. But then she passed on not before, uh, she was able to tell them, Wuti, this guy took her to some house in Centurion and everything was nice and everything. Uh, then they slept together in the morning. After the day that they slept together, she woke up to that huge mansion. Um, she was all alone and the guy was nowhere inside. 
inside that house. Instead, there was the auntie, the cleaning auntie in that house. And that cleaning auntie uh, handed her a brown envelope. And inside that brown envelope was full of money. And she 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 still had that envelope uh with her they say that it was an a4 envelope which was full to the brim they don't know how much it was of money inside and that lady called a rixi back then then that lady called a rixi for her and the rixi brought her to back to TNT and she was like it was weird because ever since Ashley this guy is like this guy never let her out of his sight and all of a sudden now she has to go back to school with a with a Rixi but then what can what can she say okay fine she had glasses no, no she does not have time for drama however when she got to school immediately she got off from the rixie she then noticed uh, uh, the body is not bodying and when she got to her dorm she actually the symptoms accelerated and she was rushed to hospital from hospital it was like everything was now out of hand they had to take her back home then she passed on so my lovely people Angazi, did you ever encounter stories of the hammer man if so what did you hear of the hammer man and I will put the link. I always forget. I always say this and I always forget. Let's hope I don't forget this time. Yes, I'm getting temporarily in this lifetime. I will put the link to the confession hub so that you can go and listen to this guy who claims to, to have been the hammer man or one of the hammer mans.